but uh, Owen, how, how you, you kick the 50 yarder because you know that he's going to get another shot. Mm -hmm. what, what can you say about that kid? Yeah, I mean, it's just he, he continues to you know, do what he does. And, uh, you know, uh, he's, you know, just, he's such a, a gamer. Um, and it's nice having, knowing that you have him, and that's, you know, having a guy like that, so he does. It allows you to do some things earlier in the game that could put you in a situation at the end game where he can win it for you. And that's exactly what we planned and what we wanted, we're hoping to do, and that's exactly what he did. What, make, what makes Corbett so tough to defend? The Merrimack running back. Oh, he's just, he's so good. He's just, he's quick. He's got elusive, uh, you know, for a guy his size, he's very hard to tackle on, too. But he's got great vision. He's got a good jump cut. He really does. He kind of, he kind of knows you to sleep a little bit when he gets up in there, and then all of a sudden he bounces and hits it. And uh, they, did, you know, they did a good job offensive line. Uh, you know, I've talked about it all week. They're an athletic group, uh, offensive line wise, and they came off. I mean, they did a good job of creating some big gaps. And, uh, you know, we've got to, we just got to continue to be more disciplined. We've got to stay in our gaps. And we can't just, you know, we ran up the field a little bit early on, and they were hurting us a little bit with our aggressiveness going up field and kind of hitting up inside of us. Uh, but we got some things we definitely got to clean up and move forward. Talk about the 75 yard TV pass early. Yeah, it was good. I mean, we needed it. We needed it. We needed a little jump start there. You know, I just felt like our guys were just kind of going through the motion a little bit. And, uh, but that was helpful. And, uh, but, you know, we got to continue. The energy has to stay. We have to match our opponents' energy even more. I thought they did a good job coming out with a little bit more energy than us. And, uh, you know, obviously we, we can't wait till the second half to do that. Uh, luckily, we came out on the, on the, on the, on the win side um, with that. What was the message at halftime? Just do your jobs. Do your jobs. Just you don't have to do anything extra. You know, don't, you know, don't get in a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, a, you know, mat, you know a, a battle with a guy. Do your responsibility and do your job. And, uh, and we, we, we need more energy. I told them I challenged them. I said, they got more energy in us this first half. I said, they're more aggressive than us in the first half. I said, now we've got to flip that now. I said, good thing about football is two halves. And you're fortunate enough to be in a position that you can come out and we can have energy and we can be more physical at the point of attack and uh, get that changed around. And, uh, and that's what we ended up doing that second half. You called the timeout before you kicked the field goal. What was that all about? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Talking about this last one down here? Not the last one. It was, uh... oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought we didn't have the right call um, for the protection, um, so which we did. So, which is, yeah, yeah, you don't want to have to be in that situation. It's a waste of time out there that we could have used, potentially. Did you have to tell Owen anything after he missed the first 50 yard or before nope. he goes out there? No, we're going alone. <laughs> And he's, he's, he just he knows what he you know, he knows what he has to correct. It's the whole operation too. I think sometimes it's just not on. It's the snap. It's the hold. It's the protection. It's everything. Um, and you know we'll look at the film. Um, I don't know if that was the greatest operation. Um, and, uh, so that's something we got to make sure we clean up so he can continue to do what he does. Which brings up something I was going to ask. Did you consider kicking that on third down in case you had a bad snap? Or potentially, something? yeah, potentially. You know, we just were trying to. It was all about the clock. Though. Trying to get that clock down as much as we possibly can. And we felt like he was in our, we had him in a range, but yeah, you're exactly right. You know, kicking that on third down, but it was, would have been nice. We're trying to get a little bit more to the middle for him, too. That ball's on the right hash. And we're trying to make sure we get a dead center for him as much as possible. Coming off a win like this, where you talked about you needing know, to match the energy and going into the pen game, is that something you think you're going to need to preach in the week leading up to it, or are they just going to do it? I think we have got enough guys who have experience and maturity that they know what they got to do. You know, they know we, didn't, you know we didn't have the level that we needed that first half. Uh, our guys, uh, our players, are their biggest critics, and so, but they know, they know going forward. You, know, you take one day at a time. And we got to focus on that day and prepare ourselves. Um, you know, going into an Ivy League play. What about putting Grayson in, mm -hmm. a guy who hasn't played a whole lot, yeah. and having him yeah. do some stuff for him? That thought process. No, that's good. I mean, he's he's a gamer. He's an athletic kid. He does some really good stuff. He can, he can give you some options there. He can give you some versatility as well. Uh, but he, he's very composed for, for as young as he is and the limited amount of experience he has. When he gets out there, he's very composed, very composed. So, yeah, we definitely uh, he's, he's, we want to have another threat you know, on that offensive side of the ball. We're going to need it going forward. Speaking of going forward, mm -hmm. I asked the guys how helpful to have a game that goes down to the end. The guys have to test themselves. That's right. No, it's, it's, it's big. You, know, you, you want... You, know, you want to win, you know, you know, and make it, you know, make a statement. But that's a good football team, and it, you know, I don't, I could care less about their record. They are a good football team. I've watched enough uh, uh, football on, on video, and, and I saw it early in the week. 
these guys are good. They're very good on defense. They, did, they had a good job, good plan on offense. But uh, they, yeah, they, they went toe-to-toe. -to -toe and you, you need to have those. You're going to have those games going forward. And I think the team that's been in those situations before, their composure, that will show. And, uh, but the, our biggest thing is, is we just got to keep getting better across the board. Their QB hasn't played much. Did he surprise you? Yeah, he's, I'll tell you what, he, he did it. I think he, he felt really comfortable in what they were doing with him, the plays they were calling for him. And um, you never, you know, obviously when you have that running back, he's pretty, pretty lethal. It does take a little bit of the, uh, you know, of the pressure off the quarterback because when he does take and run with it, you're, you're, you know, you're checking your eyes around that running back. But uh, you know, he did a good job. He really did. He came out there and he did, and he didn't make mistakes. That's the thing. We got to do it better. We got to create more mistakes. But he did not put them in a tough situation. Uh, he was very smart with it. He didn't try to do something extra. He just stayed within their plan.